Good afternoon and welcome to Platinum's Trade of the Week video. Uh, today's date is the 15th of April uh, 2016, so we're going to be reviewing all the week's trades. Um, and in terms of the week's trades, it's not been a bad trading week at all. We've had a great Euro position in play. Uh, we've had quite a few longer term positions triggered this week as well. In order to take you through those trades, uh, let's go to obviously April the 12th. So I'm going to come to the April the 12th there. I'm going to go to our longer term trades. And as we can see in here, we've got our new trades of the day section. So in our new trades of the day section, as always on the Monday, we provide you with the longer term trades. And these ones are set for the week. So in terms of the trades that triggered on the Monday, we had a Aussie dollar, we had a Canadian dollar. So the Aussie dollar was a short at 76.69, as you can see. Then we've got a dollar CAD at 128.57. So the Aussie trade was the one that did make quite a bit of profit on that particular day. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the chart and we go to the Aussie dollar and let's go to the 12th. So what we have is we have a short at 76.69. So 76.69. So what we have here is just triggering just there. 76.69. As we can see, market dropping in excess of 50 pips on that particular region. And all you guys should know, or if you're new to our videos, you will know that on our longer term trades, when the trade reaches 50 pips positive, we move our stop loss to break even and we take part of the position out of the trade. This way, it's a completely risk free, stress free position. So, that was a very nice trade that triggered there. Unfortunately, it did come back and, and go for break even, but at least we took a bit of money out on the way down at the 50 pip area. The dollar CAD, unfortunately, that one did get stopped out. Yeah, so as always, guys, we are very, very transparent here and we always say the losses. So, the 128. 57 level yes unfortunately that did get stopped it made maybe 30 40 pips in the end but uh, didn't quite make the 50 um so it came all the way down i mean some of our clients probably would have moved their stops after about 40 pips or so but if we're being fair to people at 50 it didn't quite make the 50 came back down but that's one of those things we're always very very transparent with our trades the the next longer term trade that triggered uh, was the day after and that was the euro dollar at 14.50 and that's a short that we still currently got running um it's a absolutely brilliant short actually um now if we look at the overall points of view from where the euro is right now it's essentially the high yeah you look at 1450 here and look how many pips that is up at the moment it's 150 pips to the good at one point almost 200 pips up um, an absolutely fantastic trade one that clients are currently still in um, and well done to those clients that have you know um, been able to hold that trade and, and stick with that um, now the other trades that triggered those ones uh, were the intraday trades and we'll go over those right now so those were the Aussie trades that triggered on the 14th and also a Kiwi that triggered on the 14th. So we're going to go now to the archives. Let's click on the 14th. And as we can see in here, we're going to go down to the Aussie trade. And it was the two levels that were provided on the daily updates. And we can see just in here, it was a 76.90, 77.15 levels that were stopped out. Yeah, it's one of those things. Again, we're very, very transparent with our trading. Now the next trade was the Kiwi. That one was a very nice trade indeed. Now the Kiwi trade just in here. So if we have a look at the Kiwi for the 14th. So that was a 96.38 level. So sorry, 69.38 level, not 96. So 68.38 level. So as we can see just in here, uh, was this buy zone and um, we can see very decent buy zone in the market then continuing to go sort of plus 35 pips in the end on that particular trade um, so again a very nice trade so in overview um, and uh, what we also do on the trading floor is that we always review uh, yesterday's trade so even on today's analysis we reviewed the trades that triggered yesterday as you can see price bounced off the zone at 69.38 plus 35 pips. So looking at a pips total there, uh, you've got the Aussie uh, around about 50 pips or so. The dollar CAD was a loss. Then we have the Euro, which is currently sitting 150 pips in profit. 
Then we had two Aussies and we had the Kiwi winner. So, you know, you're looking around sort of the 150 pip mark overall for the week. Um, so a fantastic week uh, in terms of your trading. You know, £10 a point, guys, 1500 quid. It's not bad, is it, for a week's work? Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in what you see in the particular video, it's very, very easy. Uh, you go to our website, click on book a free consultation. Essentially, all you need to do is fill in your name, email, telephone. One of our account managers will be in contact with you most likely would be early next week. Uh, effectively, that's to book a free consultation in with yourself. What happens on the consultation? Since you show the analysis working live, show you the system. If you love everything, then obviously we talk further, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and obviously follow us on all the usual social media networks. Thank you very much.